So in this video, I'm going to go over how to import um, textures in the Unreal 4 and use them as sprites. Um, what I've created here in Photoshop are two different types of sprites. So I've created a terrain sprite, which my character is going to walk on top of, and then this other kind of terrain sprite, which is going to sit underneath this one, so it looks like a wall of mud and then grass at the top. Um, all I have to do is basically drag and drop those into Unreal for into my content browser. Uh, with those two still selected, I kind of want to have a retro style um, for these graphics, so you know pixel art. So what I'm going to do is right click them and go configure for retro sprites. And you can see if you have an alpha channel in there that it will make that transparent in the viewport for you. And then with those two still selected, I'm just going to right click and go create sprite. So it's going to create two sprites uh, from those two textures which I had. Now it's very important that you have folders set up for this as well because once you start doing animated sprites you're going to end up with loads and loads of different files. Now my player start here um, as you can see is location wise set to the Y okay which is important. For my sprites all I have to do is drag and drop them in okay um, but usually it won't end up on Y0 okay it'll have maybe minus 300. It means if I press play my player will not come into contact with that sprite. So what I want to do is just turn that to zero. And I'll place it under my player. Now if I press play you see my player will walk on it. And I can do that for my other sprite. Just change that to zero here. And then I'll move it up into place. Once I've done that, I can kind of hold down Alt and duplicate these across so my player has somewhere to walk. But if you notice, my player is kind of sitting basically on the very top pixel. That's because Unreal, uh, when you bring in a sprite or create a sprite from a texture, it takes the very top pixel that you have in that graphic and it makes that the kind of, or it makes a collision box around there. If I double click on my sprite in my viewport, and click on edit collision I can kind of see that collision box that it's made so you can see here this yellow box is sitting right on top of the very first pixel that I have vertically on my sprite what I want to do is I want to select that and I can move it down turn off my snap to grid so now my player can be walking on this top bit of grass if I wanted to and I had a bit of more complex sprite I could move this over and then I could add in a new collision box by clicking this add polygon and kind of drawing around this press and enter and then for this part that's missing I just draw another box around that press enter so now I've got a bit more of a complex sprite in this video I'm going to show you how to set up um, your level in Unreal 4 for a 2D game. Now when you start it off you'll have a player and you'll have some platforms but you won't have any parallax scrolling and uh, you might have some other issues if you've got sprites uh, in your foreground especially with the camera. If we go to our blueprints uh, we can open up my character and in here we've got uh, basically some scripting for your animations, movement and jump uh, but we want to go to our component section and go to first of all your camera component and it will probably be set to orthographic okay which means that you don't have that parallax scrolling so what you want to do is change that from orthographic to perspective and then you also want to make sure that you go to your camera boom and you have do collision test turned off when you do these things, um, you also might have to change your target arm length because your camera might zoom up to your char character quite a bit. So you can change this here with the target arm length node or option and just move that farther or closer to your character if you want. And you can also change like how high or how low it is to your character as well. You can pile that. And if you press play, then your character should uh, walk around as normal, the camera should be where it's positioned in that component section and you should also have parallax scrolling so for instance if I was to copy these move them to my foreground you can see that my foreground is kind of moving faster than my background 